Hey guys, so I just want to make a quick video um, about um, something I have to deal with on a constant basis. It's called TSPK, thigus and superficial punctate keratitis. It's a rare disease of the eyes. Uh, for anyone that has just been diagnosed with it, or anyone that has been dealing with it for years, like myself, and don't know, um, or don't have anyone to go to to talk to, um, we do have a Facebook support group, so if you are on Facebook, I will link the link down below so you can join our group. It's pretty much like just a support group. Um, we share stories, we share experiences, we share um, our different treatments we've tried, what works for us, um, and we vent a little bit as well because it's a very frustrating disease to, um, to deal with. Uh, so you're more than welcome to join the group. It may take a while to get an approval. I don't know how long it takes for an approval because it's a closed group. Um, for anyone that does not have Facebook, you can just post comments below as well. Ow. And um, I'll be happy to add, answer them. I've had this um, disease for 23 years. 23 years. Oh my God. It's been so long. Pretty much um, majority of my life. So... It's, um, I'm just gonna, yeah, talk about my personal experience. I will link up a video to this one of me during a flare-up. Um, so a flare-up is whenever the disease is active and the symptoms are present. So in that video, I actually go over the symptoms I go through or put, have to deal with. So I'm not gonna go into that now. Um, I will go through maybe experiences and my treatments. So right now I am on the FML steroid drops. I'm trying to get off of them, but for some reason I can't find anything else that helps as well as they do. Um, long term use of FML steroid drops is bad, can cause cataracts and glycoma. So this is where I'm trying to like get off them ASAP, but unfortunately I'm stuck with them. Um, I'm also wearing contacts. Um, they're not prescription, they're just regular contacts. I finally found one that I'm not allergic or don't have an allergic reaction to. I still cannot wear them more than 24 hours. After like about the 8 hour mark, I have to take them out just because they start irritating my eyes. And it seems like I can't wear them two days in a row because they irritate my eyes even more. So I still kind of react to them, but not as bad as the other ones. At least I could keep them in for, you know, a good half of the day at least. Um, as well, I do cold eye compression. So I have like an eye gel mask, which I have to buy a new one because mine is so old, it's starting to fall apart. But it's an eye gel mask I put in the fridge. And every time I have a flare-up, I put in my steroid drops every four hours. And then I'll do cold compression. So I'll have the gel mask on my face. Um, for about 20 minutes that alleviates for some reason I feel like all around the eyes I've already got tested because I know you have to monitor Your eyes when you're on the steroid drops to make sure the pre there's no pressure So I never every time I get monitored. I, ha I don't have any pressure But it feels like there's so much pressure around the eyes and as well like around the eyes It feels hot like it feels like it's a little bit inflamed So the cold compressions help that for me as well, it just helps, I find it helps get rid of the flare-up a little bit faster. Um, so that's what I do for treatments. I've tried the Restasis eye drops with no luck. I've tried Cyclosporin. They were just starting to help a little bit. Um, unfortunately, I had to get them shipped from the U.S. And my insurance did not cover it. So it was quite costly. So I stopped using those. Um, I've been referred to eye surgeons, so, um, for the, uh, laser eye surgery. Now, there has been cases where it was effective, eye laser surgery for TSPK, but because there's not enough research on it, it's not a proven fact yet. So, the surgeons I was referred to, they rejected, um, seeing me even. They just didn't want to take the risk. They didn't know much about TSPK. It wasn't proven that the surgery would get rid of it at all, if anything. 
um, and they didn't know if it might even make the condition worse. They just didn't want to take the risk, so um, I couldn't get the laser eye surgery. Um, other than that, yeah, so I was I've had it for 23 years. I've been misdiagnosed for the first six years. Um, they actually thought I had herpes in the eyes, which is quite embarrassing. That was during high school. So try to explain to your peers that you have herpes in the eyes when we're just learning about STDs or STIs now. Um, so that was quite embarrassing. Um, and then I actually had a remission, uh, remission phase. So the disease actually went away for about six to seven years. It just like mysteriously went away and I don't know why I don't know what I did I don't know how but and then it came back it just came back with a vengeance too it's worse than when I was in high school maybe partly because um, my work right now I'm actually in front of the computer my entire shift which is a major trigger um, dryness of the eyes is a trigger being tired tired eyes um, I, strobe lights is one of my triggers. Um, ceiling fans, anything that dries out the eyes, the wind, those are triggers. Um, so yeah, a couple experiences I had. So when I was in high school, I actually had a teacher come up to me and ask me if I needed help or counseling on my issue. He actually thought I was going into drugs um, because my eyes were red <laughs> and irritated. Uh, even after I tried to explain to him that I had an eye disease, he thought I made that bullshit story up. Um, he still tried to insist that I get get help. So, yeah, it's not an easy an easy thing to go through. Actually, I had another experience, kind of embarrassing experience, um, four about four years ago. And I had to make a, a career change because of it. I was actually working in a high-end office with um, clients that had a lot of money. So we had to keep it pr very professional in that office. And um, on a day I had a flare-up. It was m a mild flare-up. I had the red eyes, the irritated eyes. Watery. And one of the CEOs came to visit. And she actually pulled me aside and started lecturing me about um, how to look, keep looking professional because I was, you know, meeting clients and stuff and trying to lecture me on like, you know, I should sleep, go to sleep early and, you know, maybe take vitamins or she started lecturing about like being a little bit more healthy and conscious about how I look. But after I explained to her what I had in the disease, she kind of felt embarrassed. She apologized for assuming, I guess, whatever she was assuming. Um, so yeah, I made the career change after that into something that's not face-to-face -face with customers. Um, but unfortunately now I'm in front of the computer for so long. So I'm trying to make another career change right now where I'm not in front of the computer, but it's so hard because everything's now like, um, like save the environment, paperless. And, um, what job now does not require you to be in front of the computer for a long period of time. So it's hard to find that kind of job right now, um, especially with my experience, like my background and stuff like that. So that's what I've been deal dealing with lately and the, the constant flare-ups. So yeah, I will link um, that video of doing a flare-up of how I look like, which is completely different, um, and then my symptoms of what I go through. Uh, again, if you have any questions or concerns, just link up down below or our Facebook group is um, our main place where we share a lot of stuff. So that was the main reason I just wanted to post there to link people up together. All right, so hopefully 2015 is a better year for me and for you as well. Goodbye. Hey guys, um, I just wanted to make a quick video of um, TSPK. Um, it's an eye disease that I have, I guess, a superficial punctate keratitis. Um, I'm probably going to record something while I don't have um, a flare-up, so I could actually talk to it about it more in depth, but um, this is just to give you an idea of what I have to go through. Um, 
I woke up with just um it's just a mild flare up. It can be a lot worse. I can at least open my eyes today. Um but normally what goes uh what happens when I have a flare up is um the symptoms that I have to put up with. So right now I'm experiencing um it feels like there's something in my eye pretty much and I there's no way for me to take it out because obviously there's nothing in there but it just feels like there's something in there so it's just um, more irritating than anything else and then every uh, I would say 10 to 15 minutes I get this really really sharp pain and one of my eyes which that hurts tremendously kind of just feels like a, a sharp pinprick for like a quick second but it's just a quick stabbing in the eye so it's very painful um what else is blurry vision um so my vision isn't as good as it um, usually is and of course uh the worst thing um, is the light sensitivity so right now there's not a lot of light um in my apartment it's still kind of dim but it's still affecting my eye. Normally I have it, all the lights turned off. Um, so if I were to do something like this. I turn on the computer. It's very, it's, it's just too bright. Like I can't keep my eyes open because of the light sensitivity. So for a lot of people, like for my, my issue is I work on computers. So for me to go to work with this condition, it's almost impossible when I have a flare up. Um, and yeah, I'll just post another video with more details on explaining it when I'm not actually having a flare up because this is kind of ridiculous. I don't want to be talking like this for minutes on end. But anyways, just to give you an idea of what I have to put up with. Um, I know there's not a lot of videos out there on YouTube about what people have to go through and put up with and what they do and stuff. So I know there's just like one other video about like a child, what she has to go through. Um, and of course, I think it's probably very difficult for the child to describe the symptoms and stuff. Um, but just to be able to see it and have that support with other group members. I figured I'd post something on YouTube about it. Okay, thanks, bye.